Out of the breaking sports news that much of Houston's talking about right now, the Texans are on the market for a new quarterback. Brock Osweiler has been traded to Cleveland. We broke the news at 4 o'clock. Right now, we're looking ahead to who's going to replace him. Could it be Tony Romo? Channel 2's Randy McElvoy joins us live tonight at NRG Stadium. Randy, the Texans letting go of Osweiler sounds like a great deal for the Texans. <laughs> Absolutely, Bill. They're saving a lot of money, number one, and I think uh, eliminating some of the drama we would have seen inside of that locker room next season if Brock Osweiler was indeed back. Uh, not many people expected this to go down this quickly today, but indeed the Texans have made it official. They are turning the page with Brock Osweiler after just one season. It got done because they found a team now willing to take on that massive contract of $16 million. That would be the Cleveland Browns. And it also took a couple of draft picks and about half the cap hit to get it done. The team, though, can now move forward with a new quarterback plan. Now, that plan could include Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo, who is clearly not going to be with the Cowboys next year. Only question now is, will Dallas find a trading partner or will they simply release Romo? Either way, the Texans are reportedly interested. And in fact, Romo himself took to social media this afternoon and thanked the fans in Dallas as he moves on and prepares to join another team. Me and my family felt the outpouring of support and love from all of you. You know, it doesn't go unnoticed, so... I want to say thank you, and we have a lot to think about here going forward, but we'll see what happens. Yes, indeed. So Tony Romo planting the seed. Now we're going to find out. Everybody's on the clock. Who will land Tony Romo? We'll see if the Texans will indeed be in the picture or not. we got plenty more on the big trade. Brock Osweiler off to Cleveland in a trade going down this afternoon. We're live at NRG Stadium. Randy McAvoy, KPRC Channel 2 Sports. All right, Randy, thank you. Of course, the news of Osweiler's departure is getting mixed reviews from Houstonians, as you might expect. Some Texans fans say they're glad to see him go. Others say he should have been traded much sooner. But now that the deal has been made, most fans are hoping that his replacement does a better job. I'm not surprised. I, I knew he was going to leave sooner or later. When he was with us, he did horrible, so I, I really didn't think he was going to go to another team in the NFL. I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> I mean, live, I'm a Bears fan, but living in Houston, you know, you kind of want to see the Texans do well, you know, and you also watch the Texans game because they're on every Sunday. And it's just hard watching them, and he seemed very inconsistent. Now, while the fans we talked to said they wish Osweiler well, they say they don't believe he's going to be a big star for his new team, whoever that turns out to be, if Cleveland keeps him or trades him, whatever happens. Now that we know that Brock Osweiler has been traded, we want to know who you would prefer as a starting quarterback. So your choices are Tony Romo or Jay Cutler or someone else. So keep voting. We're going to have the final results for you tonight at 6 o'clock.